Alur Kingdom under the Copa Palmino Bimo literally meaning the Queen Mother's Cup together with Plan International and Action Aid has organized a dialogue to end child marriage, teenage pregnancy and gender-based violence against women. The different stakeholders shared the challenges, suggestions and recommendations on how to end early child marriage. He's asking why are many soldiers renting outside? And most of their women, wives, are young children. And what I, what I, 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 I'm aware about, whenever these, these soldiers are transferred, they don't go along with these women. And I'm sure not only Matinda, but other outsiders also here. And there are also others. And then also, let me move to you know, so I can a leg in part to give a loan. And many times they are, they, are, they are fighting and yet they hold guns, they hold these weapons. Most of these teenage mothers, the children belong to the soldiers. And then you know from the same family, you will find two are impregnated. And one man from any NNA security head must help us. I want you to leave this place, do, lady, knowing that even a soldier is a human being. I'm not okay. 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 I'm not we have not left any woman here. Our women are there. Do you have any wish complaining that you have left her? You want telling me where you are coming from? There, no, there is no devotion. We are here to serve him. But it, when time for it, when time will reach for us protect, for protecting you reach. Give us time The cases of women who are being evicted because of uh, witchcraft. I want to inquire from the lawyer what 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 is the state what what, what is the position of the law? It is unconstitutional and unlawful to evict any person, even if that person is a woman, from land on grounds of witchcraft. It is a repugnant and backward culture which doesn't stand the test under Article 2 of the Constitution Uganda. <inaudible> so every person, including the women, <inaudible> have a right to own land. This is a collective responsibility. You are not going to hand over your child to the police look after. You are the kind of friend for your own. You are the kind of friend for your own. The ratio of police in Uganda to, to one person is like 500 to one. We haven't even reached there. So when police, they no, we go to one town, they go to one town in Uganda. So I'm not going to be in Nigeria. I'm not going to be in in Parom in Paromo when you you cannot pay your own. Now, I want to make sure that when you are in the city, you are not in the city. Now, take take up your own. I also take up my name. Shall also look after this. Otherwise, if there is any good police, shall not do much. Ochaya Vincent, the executive director Alur Kingdom, explains the meaning and relevancy of the sports gala, most especially why it is targeting women and the girl child. I'm happy to say that today, as we speak, the girls too have become one of the key thematic areas of approaching and they are address the issue of ending child marriages and post marriages. Today we are problem with this issue. It's for real. 13 year old, 12 year old, already pregnant. You can't say it's a reason for one person. It's everybody's concern, right from my household to the top. So I think the king choosing the king, the, the, the cap, and the name of the queen mother was no better choice. 
because now this is called Copa Mino Bim. That is the Queen Mother's Cup. Meaning that the ladies have bought a forum, they have bought a place where they can come and also dialogue. It's called Kaoi, Kaoi Panyi. This is where the ladies can come and dialogue. Bring in their issues, bring in their agenda, address the main concern, also make a voice be heard through that forum. What we want to address here, we need to end child marriage. We need to end child pregnancy. Also, we need to address the issue of what we do about reinstating this girls back to school. So it's coming to the ERO. We just have to go beyond talking about the girls are pregnant. What we do when they are pregnant, they have to go back to school. Or we have to skill them. Now, the Queen Mother came up and the Queen Mother initiative has just been signed. That is to symbolize that now is the action for the social class. So, Copa Pamino is the first edition, and it goes. It's perennial in nature, it's every year. So, it is definite, and we want to use it as a platform to address the issue of the plight of the girls and the women. The different stakeholders showed their support by signing the commitment to end early child marriage and to support the six core areas of interest to uplift the girl child. With this, I would like to invite the Queen Mother, the Speaker, the Dipkayalu Executive Director, Plant National and Action Aid. This is the foundation for our commitment. And anybody else who wants to come is going to come under this. In terms of and with this, I'll start with the Queen Mother. And she signed sign a commitment. Then during her time of speech, she will speak about what about this much more. So Queen Mother, when you come for your speech, I know you have your speech about this or your time of speech. I'm committing myself on your behalf. Amita Miaratin Iwengu. National and Action Aid. So please, let us all support what they are going to offer us and let us be willing and ready to go through this commitment I'm making on your behalf. Alone, I cannot, but all of us together, we shall make a difference. I will pay you. I think you should move on. 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 Emmanuel Aguele, West Nile TV.